Hi fans, thanks for calling and checking in on the clicking and whatever you did to get to the D-Rose report. Alright, got a lot of news here, a couple of days worth. Alright, uh, this is a little inside info here. WWE's recent offer to former TNA talent had generally been in the price range of thirty-five to 75000 a year depending on who the talent is. And uh, that is uh, kind of what the usual NXT deal goes for, by the way. Just to let you know, it's not a million dollars as soon as you get there. And obviously, though, some of the stars like uh, Doc Gallows and Carl Anderson uh, would be most likely a lot higher than that. Uh, just to, you know, the basic people off the road or on the uh, indie circuits, let's say. All right, Roman Reigns left uh, this year's Royal Rumble match with the sixth longest rumble time of 59 minutes, 51 seconds, according to uh, Wrestling Observer Newsletter. Ahead of him are Rey Mysterio with 62 minutes, 12 seconds, and uh, well, I think it was in 06. Chris Benoit in 2004 and Bob Backlund in 2000, uh, rather uh, 1993. Triple H in 2006 and Ric Flair uh, in uh, 1992. All right, seen on uh, Monday's Raw during the Rock's <laughs> return. This is funny. Return segment, fans dressed up as uh, legends uh, Hulk Hogan, Undertaker, Randy Savage, and The Rock were shown at ringside. I was wondering how come after a, a week at least, nobody ever said anything from WWE. But anyway, before The Rock's segment, here's the backside of this. A fan dressed as Savage was doing various macho man mannerisms and things like that, which everybody does. And this is why fans were chanting Randy Savage during the show. WWE officials backstage did not like the chance, and uh, afterwards, uh, uh, after they got done with the Kane versus Bryant, uh, uh, rather Bray Wyatt match, security was sent down to calm the fans down. Anyway, of course, uh, during <laughs> according to the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, the fans were taken out at one point, but then let back in and told to calm down, which they did for a while, and then The Rock came out. He was cutting a promo and saw the fans at ringside and went over to speak to him on camera. Uh, and people backstage were just freaking out, I guess, because uh, they already were mad at the fans for distracting the, cloud, uh, the crowd. And now they're getting TV time. The feeling was that if anyone beside, uh, you know, John Cena would have done something like this, they uh, would have been fired, but The Rock can pretty much do what he wants to do and go off script, which he said he was going off script. And I know they, they just had a fit. Especially when the guy said he's supposed to be Hulk Hogan. Hmm. <laughs> They're not over that yet. Brock Lesnar, Paul Heyman uh, is going to be, uh, well, they returned to, to uh, Birmingham, Alabama for the uh, Raw and promoting the Fastlane event with Reigns and uh, Ambrose. All right. Oh, uh, by the way, with Lesnar confirmed to do battle with, Bray, uh, well, the Wyatt family during WrestleMania 32 season. WWE mentioned Wyatt in a teaser from Monday's uh, Raw, though. But So I don't know whether he's going to actually take on, he surely he's not going to take on all four. So I would think one or the other is going to have to end, end up having the singles matches and whoever's left. And it could be just the big boy. Who knows? One night after Wyatt family eliminated the Brock from the Royal Rumble, essentially robbing the beast of the world title, uh, the authority announced that Lesnar is going to be doing battle with Roman Reigns, you know, with the triple threat at uh, Fastlane. Anyway, the winner of that bout will go on to WrestleMania to challenge Triple H for the grandest prize in sports entertainment on the biggest stage. And uh, anyway, Lesnar can't be in a good mood in the wake of his Royal Rumble defeat, so. Somebody's going to be catching hell between now and uh, Fast Lane as for WrestleMania. Oh, and by the way, Dwayne uh, Johnson, or The Rock, he uh, mentioned this on Twitter. He says, ha, well, at WWE events, going off script is what I live for. So much fun for the fans. Nightmare for Vince. Rapper Florida was not scripted to look weak against Bo Dallas, by the way, in their rap on uh, last Monday's Raw. Well, we go. Uh, but uh, many saying uh, Bo Rida easily got the win. 
And uh, Alberto Del Rio is currently dealing with some back injury and will be reevaluated re at uh, Monday's last Monday's Raw. I haven't heard anything about that. It was reported by the Observer Newsletter that the injury came from Brock Lesnar's suplex at Russell, rather um, Royal Rumble. Uh, Del Rio is not working this weekend's uh, events, and he was replaced by, of all things, The Miz, uh, who lost the. Uh, well, of course, Callisto has uh, got the championship. At uh, let's see, well, I think The Miz took on uh, Callisto and lost, of course, Chattanooga, Tennessee the other night. Adam Rose, he's been teasing news on his Twitter that he's, uh, I guess he's uh, he's got a new social outcast nickname. It's Radical Mongoose. Okay. Anyway, the Ascension, um, they had uh, the other night, they were going at, uh, uh, they kept referring to him as the Radical Mongoose from here on out, I guess, but they didn't on Monday's Raw. Sammy Zayn versus Ty Dillinger. Uh, the other night's uh, NXT live event in Detroit ended when Dillinger suffered a leg injury. And there's a video that I put on uh, the Diamond Dan Facebook page of, of that happening. Dillinger went down after a countering a move from Zayn and referee stopped the match. A dreaded X signal went up. And he was helped out of the ring and to the back. I haven't heard any more on that yet. But this is just awful. Uh, you know, I mean, Brett's went through a lot of stuff, but man, Brett Hart, former Hall of Famer, well, not former, he is Hall of Famer, uh, released on uh, Facebook yesterday that he was diagnosed with prostate cancer. Now, just to let you know, I mean, that's horrible to have any kind of cancer of anything, but uh, my uncle, he ended up, uh, had prostate cancer for a long time. They kept monitoring the thing, and he lived to be 88 uh, uh, 88 years old, and that didn't get him. He still had it, but it didn't uh, didn't affect him at all. So I hope, you know, Brett's going to be all right. But anyway, I put a big, uh, uh, over on his Facebook page, Brett Hart's, uh, he's got the, you know, big, long uh, speech about it over there, and I, I don't want to do it on here, but I'd run out of time. Chris Jericho did a Twitter on uh, uh about Q&A on Sunday and noted that his fourth book is different from the first three. Well, could you beat me with a stick, huh? Why not? But he says it's just awesome. No word yet on the release day, but Jericho uh, also said that he often has non-wrestling conversations with Vince McMahon, mostly about music. So I don't know what his book's about, but it's, it's not the first three, I guess. Stephanie McMahon pre-recorded an appearance on uh, Good Morning America, and it was moved into today. So I guess it finally got heard. Uh, oh, uh, Alberto Del Rio finally received the AAA mega heavyweight title that he uh, gets to keep in his home the other day. And as seen on last night's Raw, Stephanie McMahon mentioned Shawn Michaels' former uh, WWE partner, Marty Jannetty, when trying to cause problems between Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose. Well, Gennetti's a little temperamental still. He uh, he rants a lot. Gennetti uh, responded <laughs> to the line on Facebook and wrote, Did that bitch just say what I think I heard on Raw? Steph, should I remind the world that all them kids may not be hunters? Not sure what he think. He did call her a bitch. I can't call him wrong or right, so. Anyway, it was speculated, Wrestling Observer uh, Live, that uh, the word belt, B-E-L-T, may long, no longer be in banned, uh, like wrestler, or wrestling. It used to be banned, I don't know what it still is. Anyway, it used to be a banned WWE term, after, but Stephanie McMahon used the word on last night's Raw, referring to the WWE World Heavyweight title belt. However, it appears that the term may be still on the ban list, as Vince McMahon said belt a few weeks ago on Raw, but then the word was edited out on Hulu Plus Replay. So, you got me. I don't know, you can't say suspenders, maybe they hold it this way. Going into the uh, triple threat with Brock Lesnar at uh, WWE uh, Fastlane, WWE got a new poll up asking fans, who's likely going to be the betrayer? Is it going to be Dean Ambrose or Roman Reigns? Over 9,000 votes, 41% says neither. And 29% went with Ambrose, 30% went with uh, Reigns. 
Paul Heyman tweeted following on Brock Lesnar laying out Dean Ambrose and his own opinion of Michael Cole from last night's Raw. And I don't know if you noticed, but you got Raw tapes. They kind of showed a camera angle where uh, uh, Heyman was just glaring at Cole. He said, I despise that guy. Anyway, Wednesday's episode of Talk is Jericho, if you get that stuff. Uh, he's going to be featuring uh, Phil Campbell of Motorhead, uh, talking about the, the late uh, Kimmy Kilmeister. And the show Friday will feature AJ Styles talking about his WWE debut. The Rock, <laughs> see if you can follow this now. The Rock on Instagram says he has about four weeks left of uh, filming Ballers, and then we'll go into filming the Baywatch movie for about 12 weeks. After that, he goes right into filming Fast and Furious 8 for about 12 to 14 weeks. And then we'll film Rampage, which is based on the uh, hit arcade game. Don't know yet, you know. What is that, two, see, four, five, that's about half a year gone or more. So anyway, tonight's WWE main event SmackDown tape is going to be taking place from the FedEx Forum, Memphis, Tennessee. The usual stars are going to be there, plus uh, it says Alberto Del Rio also, but uh, not sure. And announced for SmackDown is going to be Rusev taking on Roman Reigns and Mrs. Uh, the Miz taking on AJ Styles. He got beat up the other night. Wouldn't let AJ talk. WWE's added Roman Reigns. Well, like, like I just said, um, I'd start reading the same thing over again. And as seen on uh, the other night's WWE Raw, don't know whether you caught this or not, Lillian Garcia referred to the Slammy winners, the Uzos, as Grammy Award winners. WWE played the botch uh, after the commercial, and uh, it was mentioned on commentary several times. Lily tweeted the error. She says uh, on Twitter, music side of me came out in that match. So. All right. Uh, hey, I'll, I'll read this thing that Brock put on here since I got maybe just a little bit more time here. If you, want to, if you can put up with it. He uh, has got this on his uh, Instagram account, I believe. He says, here's a breakdown of a 2016 schedule, why I am up 4 a.m. every day to train, aside from being slightly batch crazy. Once we wrap season two of Ballers, four weeks uh, uh, left, I guess, the next day I'll start shooting our little beach movie called Baywatch, literally the most successful TV intellectual property of all time. So the pressure's on. He says, bring it. After 12 weeks of Baywatch, I'll go right into shooting Fast and Furious 8. We're a family and playing the character of Hobbs is one of my greatest joys. I'll make uh, the promise to you right now. I'm stepping on that set, ready to rumble and raise the bar to all levels. Intensity, tactical, gear, weapons, especially that Hobbs winking fun. Since Fast and Furious 5, you uh, made Hobbs the highest tested character for that reason. And we're going to give new meaning to the catchphrase, Daddy's got to go to work. And after approximately 12, 14 weeks of shooting, FF8, I'll uh, transition, uh, I'll be uh, uh, transiting right into the big one, Rampage. I haven't seen too much about that. I don't play the video games, so you might let me know, is it any good? All right, thanks for clicking, you guys. I got to go.